Two mega storms hit Southern California last week. Here is Valley View's Ruby Martinez with more. The storms brought much needed rain to Southern California, but for the foothills of the San Gabriel Mountains, there was a risk of mudslides because previous fires left the hillsides bare. I went to see how the communities of Glendora and Azusa prepared. Residents of Azusa and Glendora picked up sandbags from the city yard to protect their homes from mud and debris left from the Colby fire. Last month, the Colby fire burned 1,900 acres of the San Gabriel Mountains. The fire destroyed seven homes and damaged seven others. Glendora resident Ernesto Alvarez's home sits right below the foothills. They really worry about it. They expect in that there might uh, be a mudslides from the mountain since there's no, no vegetation up there. Uh, even the city has been putting barricades or throughout the, the, the uh, foothills. And uh, I even got some uh, sand sacks to put in some right in front of my garage. So even if it rains too, as much as they say, it could go right under the door. City officials say they're learning from the past. In 1969, a massive flooding followed fire similar to the Colby fire. That flooding destroyed 200 homes and killed dozens of people. You know, we sort of operate under our emergency plan with the thought of we're going to plan for the worst, hope for the best. And so we are looking at that from that standpoint. As far as confidence, I think we're uh, doing everything we can to be in that position to plan for the worst and help. Uh, but Mother Nature is a very unpredictable uh, element. Now, there is 70% more structures in the one-mile stretch danger zone than there were in 1969. About 1,000 homes were evacuated. Those people were allowed to go back home by the end of the weekend.